Girolamo Cardano was born on the 24th of September, 1501, as an illegitimate child to Fasio Cardano, a mathematically gifted jurist, lawyer, and close friend of Leonardo da Vinci. Cardano invested his life into the study of probability theory, in which he was the first mathematician to work with the probability of outcomes. It is said that Cardano predicted the exact day of his own death, 21st of September, 1576, using his work with probability. However, many believe he committed suicide to ensure his prediction. Due to his work on probability, Cardano understood how odds worked and how likely events were to occur. This was both his rise and downfall. Cardano was notoriously short on money and as a result developed a bad gambling addiction, particularly with games involving dice. This addiction was fueled by his systematic analysis and understanding of probability, and this analysis has become the groundwork for all probability work in modern mathematics. Cardano's published work, Ars Magna, covers his major contribution to algebra, the first comprehensive solution to solving cubic equations developed by Tardjula. In particular, his solution focused on finding the roots of a depressed cubic equation. Also found in Ars Magna is a solution to solving quartic equations, which was formulated by his student Ferrari. Also in Ars Magna, Cardano discussed elementary equation with complex number. Cardano did not fully understand the properties of complex number, but here we can see him using a complex conjugate to deal with negatives and radicals. Cardano began his studies of probability by assuming there are fundamental scientific principles governing the likelihood of obtaining an elusive double six in dice rolling, rather than just some sort of divine chance or luck. His major contribution was that he defined the odds of an outcome as the favourable events divided by all possible events, and also he was the first to quantify chance and statistics. Cardano's work on cubic equations formed the groundworks for solutions to quartic equations formulated by his son-in-law and apprentice Ferrari. However, this solution was also being worked on by another Italian mathematician, Niccolo Fontana Tartaglia. Cardano decided to credit him in his publishing Artis Magnae for the cubic equation, however took full credit for himself for the quartic equation that Tartaglia developed, which in turn blackened Cardano's reputation in the scholarly world. Cardano was the first mathematician of his time to make use of the square root of negative numbers, or to at least offer a glimpse of how useful they could be. These were avoided by most and were considered redundant or meaningless. Raphael Bombelli used Cardano's work to develop general rules for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of complex numbers. Before Cardano systematically analyzed probability, no one had any understanding of the theory behind odds, chance, and risk. He began this area of study by merely considering the possibility that games of chance are governed by some form of fundamental mathematics rather than by elusive luck. He changed the idea of gambling from hopeful guessing to calculated decision. Nearly a century after Cardano published his work on probability, Blaise Pascal and Pierre de Fermat built upon his findings to create the building blocks of probability. Overall, Cardano's work in algebra, complex numbers, and probability have had a significant impact on the development of mathematics.